confusing in many years. Jonathan Majors breaking his silence just weeks after the Manhattan jury found him guilty of misdemeanor reckless assault and harassment of his ex girlfriend Hey, welcome back to Nomadically Speaking. Um, you know, we're going to cover a pretty cool topic today. Um, you know, I've traveled and lived in various countries and states in America. The more I explore, the more I realize how big the world is, and I don't ever want to limit myself to one location. Uh, I heard people come here to find their wives. Yeah, if the people that are probably losers, to be honest. Like. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, it's been a lot. Of, a lot of friends of mine have reached out and said, you know, uh, we appreciate your channel. We like what you're doing. How come you keep avoiding or skating around his passport bros thing? Manhattan jury found him guilty of misdemeanor reckless assault and harassment of his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. The actor, at times, emotional. Oh, sorry. Um... This is my first attempt at uh, attacking the question head on as opposed to alluding and talking about everything but the truth as far as the passport bros goes and how i view it <laughs> so i'm gonna be honest with you i've learned i've listened to both sides of the argument i've listened to the women in the united states i've listened to the men and i realized that um pop culture has really put a, a great emphasis on money in America. Uh, the Philippines, Thailand, like women can that can speak very little English, women that don't have and, education. And not, a lot of these women talking shit, the passport bros have never left the country. It's obvious because the Philippines is one of the countries with the highest levels of English speaking people that I've ever been to. Not only that, uh, if we want to be honest with you, most people, most immigrants migrate to America for an opportunity financially. Never do they say, I want to have a better family in America. They say, you know what, I want to have more money in America so that I can take care of my family better. In Latin America, the culture is to find employment in better places, but bring it back home. Uh, we don't have that type of mentality in America, in the United States. We just have the make, 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 make money. And if you don't make money, I don't want to deal with you and uh, look down on these people that don't make money. Now, what funny is they say is don't, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. I think the Passport Bro movement is, I think that meme or that idea has manifested into the Passport Bros, which is the rabbit with the gun. You know, uh, women have complained about men not making enough money to even date them. And if you've seen all of these videos online about women saying they'll take them to Cheesecake Factory or they above this and above that. Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Look at, look at you. You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? Cap. <laughs> <laughs> I watch a lot of channels one of my favorites calls them you know calls the women hyenas and uh although it's all funny and I've never 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 addressed this because I feel like there were enough channels doing that but just to kind of be honest and authentic on my channel I this is my truth my truth is the passport bros have a valid reason for leaving America the women have a valid reason for feeling the way they do in a perfect world, we would all get together, kumbaya, and figure it out. But what's happening is time seems to be moving a lot faster and people are not being able to reconcile and figure this out. We do not have a de facto, de facto leader. There's nobody in the black uh, community, um, and I say black because I'm a black man, so I, st I start there. There's nobody in the black community that's making sure that black couples stay together. Now, when you watch YouTube, everybody's divided. And I ran into some issues personally because I, I covered this subject with my Passport Bro videos, but I tried to be so neutral that I kind of like ostracized and alienated my friends and even people that wanted to maybe wanted to subscribe to my channel but didn't know my, my views on it. And so I want to state it very, very apparent and very straightforward that I understand and wholeheartedly side with the Passport Bro movement. Cap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before things got crazy a few years ago, I considered myself a passport bro. 
cap. <laughs> Years back, Passport Bros was just a, it was just a uh, fraternity of guys that decided that they want to travel and explore the world. Now, just recently, it's kind of gotten a little weird. A lot of weird people have entered the space, but like I always tell my friends is, you know what, there's no entry fee to the Passport Bro movement, and that's why I got bastardized, and that's why it sounds weird. So I completely removed myself from calling myself a Passport Bro because uh, for one, I got older, and then for two, it's just a lot of weird stuff going on. So I do not consider myself a Passport Bro anymore. I uh, consider myself a, a tired passport bro or you know uh, I got jumped out or however you want to say it I'm not a part of the clique no more I consider myself a man with options a nomadic guy a man that would love to see black couples make it in America but do also understand that every man doesn't have enough money to survive in America and to date to the level that he wants to go to now one can say date within your ability right but what I've noticed about dating in America is even women that may not be attractive, maybe a four on the scale of one to 10, their options to date more attractive men depends on the way that they, the, their activities and the things they decide to do. You know, So a, a woman that's a four or five could say she's only dating a guy that's a seven or eight. And her seven eight is a guy that looks this, he's gotta be this tall, he's gotta make this much money, and these options don't equate to a man that's that's on the same scale as her as far as looks go. Now, it sounds again, this sounds so interesting and so funny, but everybody's on this in a standoff. And the women are holding ground and saying, I need a man that makes more money, he's gotta be high value, he's gotta have this. And the men are saying, Y'all ugly, and I demand that I want a dime piece. <laughs> and if I want a woman on my, on my level, the way she looks, we both fours, she better know how to cook clean. And then the women say, who are you? You don't make enough money. So we like in a standoff and nobody's even progressing. Now then there's a whole slew of people that, just, that have, were raised right and they kind of got in and just, just by the glory of God, they were able to find someone and these people are typically married in their early 20s and I salute them. As a matter of fact, I have three, three sisters out of five sisters that have married young and started their families early. So I can bear testament to the fact that the black couples can make it, but I think the, the dating pool substantially changes after 25. It substantially changes after 30, and it's almost non-existent after 35. And everybody's looking good, everybody's making money, but to be honest with you, there is a, a high level of despair in our culture. I, I don't even want this channel to be even talking about this because I said a lot of people already do it. But just to clear the air and keep it real for 2024, I wanted to give my audience uh, a clear view of how I see the Passport Bro movement. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> and the issues in America as it relates to dating. Hey guys, this is Alicia. It's been a while. But there have been quite a bit of things on my mind. Um, I believe that many of you have seen the, uh, well now viral video about me choosing to reject the Cheesecake Factory because I wanted more from my date. I... want to well let me say this it's interesting to me that just how a moment in time right can shape how so many view you <laughs> i'm going to continue to grow this channel uh i'm going to make sure that I'm, I'm creating engaging content on par with what's going on in in the world um, if you find my channel interesting, if you find my content interesting, make sure you 
like comment and subscribe i know we say it all the time but the truth of the matter is just the game that we play and i hope you enjoyed this video and that you found something useful out of it and uh if not or however you feel make sure you comment i am a small youtuber and i do have all the time in the world to comment i'll see every comment you post if you notice me you go back to my old videos you can see that i'm communicating with everybody so make sure you comment and we can have some dialogue also i am my channel will will continue to evolve as i evolve as a man and a content creator i have an amazing uh container home project and glamping project that i got tons of behind the scenes footage that i'll be sharing over the next 12 months and then i just I just i'm going to be doing some traveling as well so anyway stay tuned i will see you guys in the next video peace